Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to another episode here in the Ultra Mode 7. How do you guys do today? I hope you're doing well. So, we are in the previous, we are in the host rest for stuff. In the previous episode, we made this monstrosity of smelting operation, shifting operation. Since the previous episode, I have added a couple of things and I have disabled these things to make a light update because they were doing quite a bit of light updates in this spot and I also cover all the icons and stuff because although I have a nice pretty beefy CPU and RAM and uh, you know okay GPU I started to get a little bit of a lag like that weird lag thing and of course there are things happening inside the AE system constantly like as you can see there is stuff blinking so I haven't done it in the best way but I have done it in a good way so today what I want to do there is two main things that I want to build as you can see we have a specific uh, sign in here in a specific compacting drawer yeah I have these chemical oxidizers I have about 70 something one two three four five six so about 50 78 78 so they are not fully yet upgraded and put the energy upgrades this is gonna be the main machine room for the yellowium oxide uranium oxide so this one we need it with the hydrofluoric acid that we get from the fluoride block we'll go block it's easier to make the uranium hexafluoride but we'll use to make the fissile fuel and the nuclear waste we we'll need to make it into plutonium and polonium we're gonna need both of them to make the plutonium pellet and to make the polonium pellet and also we need to do something with the nuclear waste and also I'm gonna need some polonium to make the antimatter that we're gonna need to make the antimatter pallets that we needed for a few items for a few creative items as you can see we need it for quite a few so and also I need to make a second setup uh, for uh, let me take a look for this process to make sulfur dust but we're gonna make from chemical uh, injection chamber with hydrogen chloride that's easy enough with gunpowder that we will EMC into sulfuric dust we're gonna need also a good second of those so I have a little bit of uh, things to do on my way and in terms of uranium in the system let me sleep because if that's a visual bug yeah apparently in terms of uranium we're getting a decent amount of it not a whole lot but a decent amount of it if I see that we are having like a net loss that we probably will have a net loss uh, I will pro up the process with a compacting drawers and a bunch of sieves with dust so that's not a big deal I just need to ramp up production so let me do this thing I should have a second maximum drawer yep drop maximum of these that will have the sulfuric acid this will have the, the gallium oxide uh, I need to make a second one to start housing probably the uranium or we will put it in here I'm still not know if I'm gonna do the turbine I said I will for power still not so sure we could put the, the yellow room cake to be made we just need like five of these and that will make the yellow room cake in mint that we are gonna need because we also need to extract it at a fairly fast point and uh, yeah so uh, probably I will do this, this in here, not a big deal. So, uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. Alright, I'm back. And it's been a few hours, actually. 
more like an hour hour and a half something like that so uh, i'm gonna talk about that so i did double my sieve operation for sand because um, yeah kind of did, did, we need more uranium just a tiny bit now we are filling back up because we are not using it and also i put one more of these i'll probably put another one and put another interface in here because we definitely need more input inside the system as well uh, i have 20 of those fully like with pipes now ultimate one so we are have no problem at compacting now and uh, yeah so we are good in the department we are i did fix a couple of things in here so yeah let me show you what i have done in terms of uh, oxide things in the we have a put ultimate pressurized pipes it's not the best idea that i had because they hold about 30 million and i have about three pipes of those or four four pipes so we have about almost 15 million more of yellow yellow room oxide inside the system plus whatever these things can hold and have enter chest pipes in here that's fully stocked i just need to put the quantum entangler port to start converting that and uh, let's get to the thing in here and here i set up about 10 enriched uh, factories will upgrade it all maxed out doing the heavy work for the gelorium cake so this is where we are at at this point i need to set up in here the chemical uh, the hydrogen chloride system in this uh, portion i'm just gonna make a bunch of fives we're not gonna need it but why not and uh, yeah but we definitely gonna need uh, a little bit more uh, power uh, that's for sure we, we are using quite a bit of it and i will definitely go with the turbine i know it's gonna be a pain to build it because i never built a turbine i need to go a bit around with the setup what's the best the water we can get rid of it since we can uh, input output uh, input output infinite with the uh, integrated dynamics so into a trash can we can delete the but uh, definitely definitely i'm going to make the actor one of these uh, nitro reactors definitely gonna make one and it definitely is gonna take uh, some setup to get the uh, this whole process of course blaze powder we are getting for shifting so recipe wise fairly easy we have every resource i believe the only one it's like that that stuff i need to find a way how we can uh, like probably we're gonna have each separate one but uh, as we can see in the energizer uh, yeah there is all the creative items but it just in the end game which i believe it's a little bit like okay you have two different energy so you have infinite energy three different energy okay so probably this looks a little bit better in terms of Buff instead of doing one every time this is better like creative energy cell i don't really need that in the end i would like to be like kind of like use the one item before to make the rest of them but that's the the expert style that i used to play in the stasia mod uh, the stasia mod pack stasia expert mod pack it had that feeling but uh, yeah i'm definitely gonna make some probably uh, probably because they're 250 gig probably four of them to a million that will be a good 
fun project and uh, yeah so i made the zero ring and the other time amulet for water so yeah we can do a setup like that to get the blue eyes that we need it's a little bit slow but we can speed it up with uh, more of these two recipes if i can put uh, like another ice recipe of that thing like so like so and uh, all an int so if i put one of these and one of those and apply it and i do that it goes two times faster so you put like one more and one more in the packing and you go as fast as you want so that's a setup but definitely one more i'm going to need except we built first the turbine to see how much power we're making because if we're making a stupid amount of power we might not need that to do that maybe for fun maybe for fun because we're gonna need power for the esp so let me build a little bit more and uh, take a look at the uranium because we made the yellow cake that we bonded and the next step it's the hydrogen fluoride so i need to build uh, with one of those i believe i'm fine we might need the second one but i think i'm fine i need to, to build uh, the second one for the sulfuric trioxide yeah the sulfuric trioxide that's the second one that i'm gonna build with one of those we are good in terms of one to one and water vapor just water we are fine we're not gonna need the second one like this thing it's not worth it like come on you can do better than that but yeah so yeah see you in a few minutes or hours or days who knows editing it's magic all right everyone so i'm back i'm here everything has backlogged so we are still getting a ton of uranium we are back in uh, 8000 so i wanted to set up the hydrogen chloride process so this is what i'm gonna do right now with you guys to see the system a bit the process so we do one of these things we need that so we're gonna have the separator all along this line also we need to configure that so we need in terms of gases we need to output uh, the chlorine so this output it's correct i believe so not that that and because this is fluid we input from everywhere so we need also to get the card the configuration card from mechanism because that will help to speed up the process and i believe the chlorine is gas i'm not sure ultimate so pressurized this is fine and also we need some upgrades I believe they only get the muffle and that so one two three four five one two three four five two three four five yeah <laughs> the the upgrades that stack at eight although it's cool in terms of what you need it's a bit of a pain when you get in kind of this size like i would like to have been at least 64 stack of that and we need some pipe pipes we need some ultimate one so let's make a hundred i have set up a bunch of these systems uh, because i need it quite a bit uh, i have set up to be automatable and uh, so yeah when we are out reach at, at, at one point oh that's that's bad yeah i set up the request band to be higher i need to change that okay we need to put the request for this to one because yeah this is it's gonna make a quite a big amount and i don't want that so this one's gonna be to one 
we need to click at each individual yeah mesh that up i thought that will be good but no so let me cancel it cancel that yeah that was a big mistake but that's the me request so you set up a bunch of stuff that you want to have inside the system and it automatically makes it but uh, apparently it's making way too much so we don't need that that's gonna be there we need a configurator configurator okay this is instant and uh, get uh, the tube and this is has chlorine inside uh, dumping excess yeah we need to set up that to dump excess we don't need the sodium we need only the chlorine and we're making a decent amount so although i should have first put the infusers that's fine it's okay uh, I could have put the pipe but I like to separate uh, the power gens just to know what I'm using in each one of them so chemical infusers mm, we're gonna lose a bit but that's fine I wanna first configure them and then use them so we don't need that so we're gonna have input input and the top side we're gonna have the output the output is gonna be from the output input orange yeah that's fine and uh, yeah that looks good so retrieve copy 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 and also i need to set up for now we're gonna set up one rotary I don't think I'm gonna need another one because I think in terms of water vapor we're gonna be golden let me take a look though where is the input and output side not that fluid in the input and that's gonna be output uh, and I don't remember if I know I know the water it's uh, that portion of course we're gonna need some upgrades as well what upgrades that thing takes energy and speed upgrades upgrade energy speed and we're making water vapor and the water vapor is pressurized yeah that's that looks fine i believe i'm not gonna have any problems it's not like of oh i need to fill this up but uh, yeah i believe we can do something like that yeah we are not making fast enough because we need upgrades oh, i upgraded that portion But for some reason that doesn't hmm all right i'm back i, I did make the boo boo yeah i uh, need chlorine and hydrogen they look similar with the uh, water vapor water vapor we're gonna need it later for the sulfuric trioxide stuff so yeah we need the sulfuric dust with oxygen to make the sulfuric trioxide and sulfuric trioxide with water vapor makes a sulfuric acid so not a big deal we're gonna use them later anyway so i didn't configure them yet do you have anything that i want not really so you are dying we need so from water we need the hydrogen so we need to dump excess and configure that to be the output is this one okay so input 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 we do that thing this is filled up nice okay and we have this to put 
on top like so and we need the sink uh, I'm gonna put it right in here just to be in a cool spot they are working this is working they are filling up quite fast so it's gonna take a little while because they're ultimate I wanna go overboard not a big deal but that I'm gonna go into a quantum entangle porter quantum I made about 10 probably I'm gonna need more so let's configure that actually so energy of fluid of gases we're gonna input auto jack we don't really care we don't care about any of that stuff so we're gonna input from everywhere actually let's just to be safe and we're gonna new set a new channel called hydrogen chlorine 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 hydrogen chlor let's name it that okay that's only the text that upgrade we don't really care and that also can hold the, quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of time it's like the ultimate tank or something can hold quite a bit of packet so we're gonna have a significant amount of stuff so in terms of power how many do we using 33,000 600,000 oh my god and why is that not working are we capping out of power that's not right oh my god do we have a power problem or we have a chunk loading problem Oh, we just cut out a couple thousand. Oh, now we're better, but this number is is bad. We have problems. I didn't expect to have that much power of power problem, so we definitely gonna need the turbine because that's a problem. Like I have about what about the hundred gas burning generators? And we are camping out. Oh dear. In terms of ethylene, we are good. But I have about a hundred, a hundred of those. And we are capped out. Okay. We definitely gonna need to make that steam turbine from mechanism. And I have to make it that it's super good like it uses all the steam this thing can produce yeah i know that i uh, went a bit overboard with the production but not that much i didn't expect these machines to use that amount of power and they're fully fully maxed out and they're using 200k each Oh boy. Yeah, up to a million and this is 400 and something. And this is less, okay, because it's fully. We are not open producting actually. We are out of brine. Seriously. Oh god, I have to build another salination tower. I didn't know. I found out that it would be fine. I'm probably overproducting, but I need to set up the the production for the gunpowder for the sulfur to see how things are going. But if that's a problem, that's a problem. I need to set up a second one of those, which is not a big deal. I have space, so that's why I build it. Like we can build two or three of those, and that's not a big deal. But we are 
capped, I believe, in terms of how much power each one can produce that amount. I don't think it can go higher. Yep, I still pressed the, the wrong button, but yeah, I didn't expect that will be a problem. That we are losing on chlorine and... Uh, I don't know, maybe that's overproduction of hydrogen chloride. I have no idea, maybe we don't need that many, but... I'm definitely gonna build a second one here with five of them making sulfur for days because I'm gonna need it. Like, trust me, that's gonna be insane. Then probably I will use the ultimate pipe to make the thing work. So, yeah, I still have a little bit of work on my hands. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop it right here. The, the episode I need to set up this portion, so I need to set up another machine full of them. 58 of them fully built fully maxed out that's gonna take a second and then make the system the system is easy it's just five of them with gunpowder that gunpowder will come from emc so not a big deal but that takes 200 each to make one so not that much easy like that looks it does use sulfuric acid and or water that will probably look better but that machine is super slow and takes more power so this is why i go went this route but if we have a problem with chlorine i need to definitely speed up the production of this it's a shame that this one you cannot make it like this size and a 17 by 17 or 18 by 18 that would be nice to have one big of those that can make brine for days so yeah this is gonna be for me for today guys we did quite a bit of stuff uh, i will continue to make some more components we are we are, we are there we are there at making fissile fuel it takes a little bit more of a set up to do to to get the things rolling we also need to set up a waste disposal system with a waste barrel for the nuclear waste so this will output the actual rate is one milli buckets per 20 ticks so i believe it's one milli bucket a second so i don't know how many how much actually not how many how much nuclear waste are we gonna produce so i don't know how many of those i will need then it's a bunch of steel and uh, lead lead i got to have still i have set up a system so and that will probably go to twilight forest probably find a nice chunk and uh, probably fill them up with uh, i don't know if the quantum can or tank reporter can take nuclear waste i need to check that the stuff that comes from uh, not the nuclear the spent nuclear waste that comes from this process that makes a thousand so Probably I'm gonna have two systems making those. So one through the polonium and one through the plutonium with, with fluoronite dust. So we definitely gonna need more fluoronite, that's for sure. But that's a thousand. So I have to do some buffs about that. Yeah, I, I, I need to see if, uh, if even the quantum can, like, I believe it can. I believe it can. We don't. We can. I believe we cannot uh, bike it or trust it or something like that. I don't think so in this pack. That's that's possible. I have to check it out. So I have to do a little bit of testing. A little bit of testing. So these things. Uh, probably I need to. For now it will fill up, but definitely need to speed this thing up. I will make a second one. Not a big deal and uh, connect it to the same system in here somehow probably from the bottom side probably so don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button and uh, see you guys in the next episode have a wonderful day guys bye